Pisces, the two-fish constellation, is among the zodiac constellations residing in the first quadrant of the northern hemisphere, visual between latitude 90 degrees and negative 65 degrees. It is the 14th largest constellation, encompassing 889 square degrees. It contains 182 NGC items, two superclusters, and some notable stars. There are many stories involved with the mythology of Pisces. The Greek believed the two fish are Aphrodite and her son Eros, who escaped a battle with Typhon by turning into fish and fleeing in the Nile River. The Germans believed that the fish was caught by Antente, who after a large battle found out the fish was a prince that could grant wishes. His wife forced him to keep making wishes until eventually the fish got fed up with the greed and took everything from Etete, teaching him to be appreciative. The Chinese believed that Pisces was mixed with Cetus, Pegasus, Aquarius, Capricornus, and represented the dark warrior, the northern emperor, and the pig. Pisces has a right ascension, 0.85 hours, a declination of 11.08 degrees and is best visible at 9 p.m. on November 6th and November 9th. It is located northeast of Aquarius and northwest of Cetus. Other constellations around Pisces are Trigulium, Andromeda, Pegasus, and Aries. The best way to spot Pisces is by the circlet of Pisces a five-star pentagon on the east side of the constellation. Of the five brightest stars in Pisces, the brightest star in the constellation is Eta Piscia, with an apparent magnitude of 3.62 and an absolute magnitude of negative 1.16. It is located 294 light years from Earth. Edda is a yellow star that is 316 times brighter than our Sun, at 26 solar radius and solar mass of 3.5 to 4. It has a surface temperature of 4,930 Kelvin, making it cooler than our Sun. The second brightest star in the constellation is Gamma Piscia with an apparent magnitude of 3.7 and absolute magnitude of 0.68. It is located approximately 138 light years away from Earth. Gamma is a yellow giant star that is 61 times brighter than our Sun at 11 solar radius and 2 solar mass. It has a surface temperature of 4,885 Kelvin, making it cooler than our Sun. It is believed to be 5.5 billion years old, and it lies in the circlet of Pisces. The third brightest star in the constellation is Omega Piscium, with an apparent magnitude of 4.03 and an absolute magnitude of 1.47. It is located at 106 light years from Earth. Omega is a white subgiant dwarf that is actually 20 times brighter than our sun and is believed to be over 1.2 billion years old. The star is the most eastern star of the circlet of Pisces, representing the head of the western fish in the constellation. The fourth brightest star is the constellation of Iota Piscium, with an apparent magnitude of 4.13 and an absolute magnitude of 3.43. It is located 45 light years from Earth and is a yellowish dwarf main sequence star. It is somewhat larger and brighter than our Sun at 1.5 solar radius and 1.25 solar masses. It has a surface temperature of 6,000 to 7,500 Kelvin, making it hotter than our Sun. It is believed to be around 3.2 billion years old, and it is a variable star whose brightness is irregular. The fifth brightest star in the constellation is Omicron Piscium, 
with an apparent magnitude of 4.26 and an absolute magnitude of negative 0.23. It is located 278 light years from Earth. Omicron is a yellow giant star that is 15 solar radiuses and 3 solar masses. It has a surface temperature of 4950 Kelvin, making it cooler than our sun. Its galactic orbit places it between 23,400 and 34,900 light years from the center of the galaxy. Of the NGC items within Pisces, the most common are spiral galaxies, but a fair number of elliptical, lenticular, and other unusual galaxies also appear. Other non-NGC items include the more notable star clusters, as in the Perseus Pisces star clusters and the Pisces Ceta star clusters, residing around the vicinity of Pisces. One of the more notable of these NGC galaxies is Miser 74, discovered by the French astronomer Pierre Michain in September of 1780. He showed his colleague Charles Miser, who on October 18th of the same year, decided to add it to his catalog. M74 is considered to be the prototype of grand design galaxies, but also happens to be one of the dimmest items in the NGC. Its diameter is 10.2 by 9.5 arc minutes, and it is approximately 30 million light years from the sun. But even with that distance, it appears at about one-third of the size of the moon in our sky. It is believed to be about 2.5 to 35 million years old and very active in research. That has been a part of recent news when on July 27, 2013, a supernova appeared within this galaxy, being just the third one that we have spotted in the last 11 years. Another notable galaxy is the elliptical shell galaxy, NGC 474. With its partner spiral galaxy, NGC 470, collectively referred to as ARP 227. It is believed that the cause of the shells around NGC 474 is by its collision with its partner galaxy, which is causing a ripple effect of density waves throughout the galaxy. Another belief is that tidal tails are the reason behind the phenomenon. Tidal tails are caused by gravitational pulls of interacting galaxies, which stay around even after the galaxies have connected. NGC 474 has an apparent magnitude of 12.4 and has a diameter of 6.2 by 5 arc minutes. Its partner NGC 474 has an apparent magnitude of 12.6 and a diameter of 2.8 by 1.5 arc minutes. They are both approximately 100 light years from Earth into Pisces. The oddest of the NGC collection of galaxies is NGC 660, a polar ring galaxy which is believed to be a lenticular spiral galaxy resting 20 million light years into Pisces. Its star and star stuff resides against the plane of the gravitational poles, forming rings around the center mass of the galaxy, called the starburst. It is believed to have a very active black hole in the core, with action as recent as January of 2013. It is 8.3 by 3.1 arc minutes in diameter and 40,000 light years wide, with an apparent magnitude of 13.8.